I'm really excited about this build. So this is the first episode of our TTO2 build, and I'm gonna do a full kit build as part of this video series. Um, this is a kit that my wife picked up for me uh, around the holidays. It had been out of stock forever, and it came in stock, and she bought it for me. So I, I think she's warming up to this crazy RC hobby. So um, if you guys like what I'm doing, please subscribe to this channel, like these videos, because she bought this. So the more people that like it, and the more people that subscribe, the more of these things that she'll buy for me and you know I can keep making these crazy videos. But anyway, really, really excited about this TTO2. It's a four-wheel drive rally car. It's got a Subaru Impreza body. It's based on the 1999 uh, Monte Carlo uh, version of the car. It's that iconic blue with the yellow graphics. Super, super exciting. And you know, this kit really comes with you know a lot of great stuff, but I really couldn't leave well enough alone. I mean, if I'm gonna make something, I'm not just gonna make it stock. I mean, I could, but I, I can't. So, um, there's a whole bunch of blue parts in this box. So as we go through this build, I am gonna be reaching into the magic box of blue parts and we are gonna be upgrading quite a lot of the pieces of this car with amazing Tamiya and Yeah Racing parts. So I really wanna make this car exactly how I like it with all sorts of upgraded hop-ups as we're building it. And this is all the stuff that came with the car and this is all the stuff that we're gonna add to it. So it's gonna be really exciting when we reach into our big box of hop-ups every time and see what we've got to uh, adapt to this car. So let's get started. you want to do is take a look at the manual. Now Tamiya kits have amazing manuals. They're really well done. So according to step one, you've got to decide how you are going to build this car. So what we are going to do is we are going to build the standard wheelbase and we are going to build the high ground clearance. Step two, they tell you to charge the battery. We are not going to be charging the battery as step two. We'll charge the battery once we're done because we're not going to be finished right here. Step three is talking about putting together the spur gear. So why don't we go ahead and do that right now. We're going to open up all these bags. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse and we'll put everything on the table. So looking at all this, you'll see there's a lot of plastic parts. You know, that's actually fine. If you want to keep your car as is, you want to run it stock, you want to do what you're doing, these gears are perfectly fine. These diffs are going to be bulletproof. They're going to be amazing. Tamaya makes really, really great parts. But I have visions of the future, and I believe that at some point I am going to make this a brushless system. It does come with a brushed motor. It's a really awesome motor, but I know that I can never leave well enough alone. So I went and I purchased this Tamaya Hop Ups, the TTO2 oil differential unit. This is a gear unit that has metal gears, it takes oil instead of grease, and it's a really great hop up for the car. Now, this is a four wheel drive car, so you can't have just one of these. I have two, because you're gonna need one for the front and one for the back. So if you look on the instructions though, what they're looking for are the bevel gears and the spur gear. So we've got our spur gear that came with the kit right here. This is a nice plastic spur gear, but again, I can't leave well enough alone. The TTO2 high speed gear set. So this guy here is going to replace the spur gear that came in the kit. We are gonna replace it with this 68 tooth high speed gear that came in this hop up kit. We need to put together um, our spur gear, our plastic bushings, our pieces here. Well, that's a lot of plastic and plastic is really fills with a lot of friction. So again, I wasn't really comfortable just putting plastic you know, bushings inside of this really great diff. I bought a set of bearings for this whole car from Fast Eddie Bearings. They make awesome bearings. I put them in a whole bunch of my cars. He's not sponsoring the channel. I just really like the quality of their stuff. No, plastic is great. And we said that. We, we, you know, there's nothing wrong with the way this kit comes out of the box and you can easily, easily run this all day long and not have any issue. But I wanted to make this a true racer, something that could be competitive, a Tamiya aluminum prop shaft, two aluminum propeller joints. So this is the one that comes with the kit. This is metal and plastic. 
and this is the aluminum one, this awesome blue one. It's a lot lighter, it'll be smoother. So we are gonna use these guys to start to assemble the kit. First thing we need to do is get some of the grease. Now Tamaya thankfully gives us a bunch of grease, so we're gonna start with that. Uh, the grease does not uh, have a puncture in it, so you need to open just a little hole in that, just like that, there we go. So we do it, okay, well the grease is coming right out, so let's save that, because we don't want to lose any of this stuff. You always want to make sure things are good and lubed up, that's very good life advice for you. And let's slide this bearing on here then. Now we're taking this piece here, and we're sliding this piece on, instead of GB3, and then we put, it's a nice anodized blue space, and then we put our piece back in there, our two by, two by nine shaft. Everything we needed came in this kit. So now what we need to do is we need to attach this piece to the high speed spur gear with these four little screws. This is gonna be a rotating part, so I really feel that it could help us if we just put just the tiniest little drop of thread lock on my knife, just like that. And then take the knife and put it in the hole. I come in here and I screw him all the way in, nice and tight. I'm not gonna over torque it, I don't wanna make it ridiculous, but you know, tighten it up nice and tight in there. Okay, take a look, you'll see the screws are flush. You know, just a little bit of lube is fine. Put this shaft in, try and keep it nice and even so you can see this guy goes right in there, just like that. Okay. Grab another bearing, put him on, spin him around to get him lubed up, and you'll take a look, and then the last thing is it wants this bevel gear. The shaft is a little tapered like that, so it's a little chamfered, so you go in here, and that's it. If you look, that is the first piece. So this and this get mated together like that. So in the front, you've got this guy, So he goes here, but he gets the O-ring. Grab this guy. He just gets dropped in the cup like that. So we've got that. So that's what your propeller shaft is going to look like when you put it in the car. So we've got our chassis, and if you look here, the bearing here and the bearing there are gonna slide right into these. Pop in D15. Now, he is in there, right on top like that. We will grab two of these guys. We're just gonna screw these in. These are self-tapping screws. They go in nice and easy. That is in there. And if we look here, we've greased all this up, we've greased this guy up, we've got that piece in, we've got that piece in. We have done the first page of the manual. We then are taking our ball bearing that was supplied in the kit, and we are putting it over this. We're sliding this guy in, just like that. And we are going to use the thin one, like it says, Put that over this shaft. Now we come in here and we've got to get this shaft through the hole. So after about 15 minutes of futzing with this, it just fit. Um, you can see that it's really hard to get that in there but it, it, it fit through the hole. I, I don't know exactly how I managed to get in there. It was just kind of dumb luck. Um, but now that that's in there, let's not touch that guy. That was incredibly difficult. Uh, it's just trial and error from what I can tell. And just be prepared, it's not fun. So you take him in, you kind of drop him in and get him to kind of pop in over the, the shaft that we just put in there. The small bevel gear goes on here, the small bevel gear goes on here. Drop him in like that. Fill up silicone oil to the level of the differential axle. Do not overfill. Okay, 
that's about right. So you'll see you take this guy here, and he gets some he gets some grease. So the ball bearing goes around that, and then this guy goes in here. Put a little bit of a grease on the O-ring. We'll grab our pliers, slide that guy in. Look at that. Goes right in and stays. So let's uh, put a little bit of grease on this guy. And you'll see there's little uh, little cutouts on the gasket for the shape of the screws and everything. So you can very easily kind of fit the gasket in. Just gonna snap him on. You line up your holes. He goes in just like that. He goes like that. Put these self tapping screws in. That is the mount for the A arms. Now we need the A arms themselves. Take that B13 off. Let's take this B13 off. TTO2 low friction suspension ball, four pieces. We don't need pliers to put these in. They go in incredibly easy. So just be gentle, goes right in. We now need part A7. Okay, those move nice and freely. So let's take the car and let's turn it around. All right, should we get some grease on this guy? Drop him in according to the instructions. A four, so this is a four. Come over here, clean this guy up. Make sure that we have it properly seated. Like that. Start there. Sort of like a duck laughing at you, this screwdriver, as you tighten it. Or perhaps the penguin from the uh, 1960s. Batman and Robin TV show. What I mean. So now when we look at this, we now need part A7 and we need parts B17. Grab this one here, again, very similar to what we did before. It in the hole there and pop it in. So far this kit, other than the uh, aftermarket oil filled dips, it has been very, very easy to put together. This really is a simple kit. Those dips though had that one shaft that was rather difficult, I will be honest, to put together. But all in all, this is a very, very simple kit. It's elegant in its simplicity and its design. So these guys move freely. So one of the things it wants us to do is take this slipper pad here, or this thing, and put anti-wear grease on it. So that's this anti-wear grease that's right here. You've got this kind of crazy thick silver grease that you kind of put him there. Turn him so the holes line up. That should be what is needed 
for mounting the motor. This guy gets mounted that way. So we put in that really beautiful blue Yeah Racing motor mount and we don't even see it. So, you know, hey, there's that. Um, well, you'll even learn. Just a dab of thread lock because they are uh, metal screws into metal. Okay. So we got decent tightness there. These guys all still move, and now, moment of truth. Yes. We can move this around so we have very good gear mesh, so we are in good shape. So we're in the middle of step 12 of the installation manual for the TTO2, and I think it's a really good natural break point where I'm gonna end this episode. We've done a lot. Let's take a look at what we did um, so far, we've got these upper arms on in the in the rear and in the front. We've got this piece here. Both of the diffs are made. You saw we had a little bit of a trouble trying to get that one shaft of the diffs for those oil-filled diffs. Again, if you stay with the kit differentials, it's going to be much simpler. Went down a whole rabbit hole of gear mesh and ultimately went with the uh, optional Yeah Racing hardened uh, pinion gear that we got. You'll see that we replace some hop-ups here. Again, the diffs are hop-ups. This propeller shaft here is a, is a hop-up and these joints are hop-ups. We put in ball bearings. The diffs you can't see, they're hidden in here. But these guys are, you can see here that it, um, if we take this and spin it, it turns very, very smoothly. So we've got, we've got really good gear mesh. Everything's going nice and smooth. So really excited about that. We replaced the plastic, uh, friction balls in here with these low friction metal ones. So there are some hop-up parts going on. We're using the the, the uh, stock chassis and stuff like that. So we also got the Yeah Racing um, aluminum motor mount. So there's a lot still left to do, but this is a really good place to, to stop for this video. If you take a look, the next thing we're gonna be doing is putting in these plastic battery hold downs. And I, I'll be honest, I don't, I'm not, looking forward to plastic ones. So there's a chance in the next video that we may replace these with some blue yeah racing parts. But in the meantime, um, this was episode one of our TTO2 build. As always, subscribe to my channel and like these videos so my wife will not divorce me and I can continue to keep buying amazing RC cars and building them for you guys, as well as driving them and bashing them around. So until next time, thank you very much. And please um, come back to the channel for episode two, where we're gonna move on uh, to step 13 after we finish up step 12. I'm guessing this build will probably be another two or three or even four episodes, but we made really good progress today, and uh, I hope to continue that progress very soon in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.